Very often, we just need to understand what's going on with our account, or perhaps we need to share with other people important things we are doing with our account. Very often, this will happen by lots of people sending lots of emails and CCing lots of more people. This is where the dynamic social pane, or what's new area, comes into play. This can be found in numerous places throughout the system. Here we're looking at it on the Microsoft Dynamics CRM social dashboard, but any of the dashboards that contain the word social will include this pane. Later on we'll also see this pane also visible on an actual client record. Before we do that, let's understand what posts are. The system has two types of posts, auto posts and user posts. Auto posts are exactly that. They're generated automatically by the system based on predetermined activities and actions. So for example, a new opportunity being created, a case being created, an opportunity being progressed, a new lead being added. The list is definable and configurable by you, but auto posts are automatically generated by the system and added to the What's New pane. By contrast, and as the name suggests, user posts are created manually. They're a really good way of sharing information that's not perhaps related specifically to a client or prospect record. Here, for example, We very quickly shared with the team that a fire alarm test is going to take place at 1 p.m. So what we see here is a really useful area in which to keep tabs on everything that's happening in the company and everything that you have shared with your colleagues. What's displayed here is determined by you. In this example, we're looking at both auto posts and user posts, but I can of course filter the list down and see only auto posts, and remember, these are definable, or only user posts. I can also, across here, monitor who I am following. So in this case, I'm following one of my colleagues. Anything that they post, I will automatically see. Shortly, we'll see how you can follow a specific client. Before we do so, let's just have a look and see how we can further filter down this list of posts. Here, for example, by clicking the drop-down list, I can see posts that purely reference me. I can see posts that only relate to my active accounts. I can see only posts that relate to my active cases. And even with this filter, I can still determine the difference between user posts and auto posts. So we've seen here that the social pane on a dashboard is an incredibly powerful way of reviewing everything that's going on in your business that you have shared and your colleagues have shared. What if we want to sit specifically against a given client or prospect record? Let's choose an account that we've worked with recently. So here we're looking at a record, and we can see the record itself has its own social pane. So here on the client record, you can see that you have exactly the same capability of viewing all posts, purely auto posts, or indeed just user posts. And by selecting an individual post, you can choose to like or indeed reply. I mentioned earlier that what appears on your What's New social pane on the various dashboards, for example, will be determined by the records that you choose to follow. And this could be an account, it could be a user, or it could be a contact. So how easy is it to follow records? Well, taking this example, this record here, if I wish to follow this record, I simply click on the menu option here and choose Follow. Any activity now associated with this record will automatically populate of course the social pane on that record, but more importantly, the what's new social pane on any dashboard I choose to display it on. It's important to note that you don't need to follow accounts on an individual basis. If, for example, I have a number of my accounts that I would like to follow and be notified of any activity, I can simply select multiple records using the standard account list. If I now choose follow, I have selected four records to follow. So now let's return back to my original dashboard. The social pane will now be updated with all posts relating to the records that I've now chosen to follow. And of course, over here, you'll see now that I have five accounts. And by clicking on that, it will show me the accounts that we've just chosen to follow. So in conclusion, just a small behavioral change of updating CRM 
using the post functionality, making use of auto post and reviewing the social pane as a standard part of your working practice can have a huge impact on the way that you share and receive information from your colleagues about your clients.